Thank you for your energy. Thank you for your time. You did a lot for humanity in America. Welcome to the show, the Morris Mudd Show. Yeah, I'm so activated. It's 420. Look, we are in the reminiscence and the blessings and the beautiful and energy of Brother John Sinclair. Y'all know the White Panther movie. We didn't told y'all about the previous Morris Mudd shows. Now, we're here at the Pot When you pass on and you transcend to another level and people are still here, your people, that remember you, remember the times, remember the, the blunts you passed, remember the poetry, remember the revolutionary thoughts, remember the new pioneering type thought that they thought was crazy before you even brought it into manifestation. And this dude is one of the reasons why we got the 420 thing and the trees even legalized. This is one of the main factors, y'all. This still Detroit pioneering. I, I got to bring it back home. Cause my home, this is where I live, y'all. This is where I'm from. We're talking about positive change. We call it, we talk about necessary change. And what's necessary for all of us is to change, to be better. To be more loving human beings today than we was yesterday. <laughs> to be better neighbors. To be better friends. To ourselves first. Love thyself first. Know thyself. You can learn to love thyself. And what I hear and what I'm seeing here and experiencing is a lot of love. This man loved his people. This man loved people. Brother John Sinclair. Ashe. Ashe. Thank you for your devoted service. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for your energy. Thank you for your time. You did a lot for humanity in America. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Lenny Sinclair, for being there for John. Because we're speaking as one voice. 
All power to all people. All power to the people. All power to the people. I want to bring up David Nelson, our big brother in the revolutionary movement. Yeah. to the people. Okay, let me say this to you. See if you can hear me. I don't care how old you are, because there's too many old people here. You got the power. You got the power. No, y'all don't believe it. Y'all, that's the problem. Y'all out there do not believe. I ain't playing. Now, if y'all go play, I'll go away. Okay. Really, if y'all is serious about celebrating the life of an inspirational man, you got to take the power to do it. <laughs> is anybody out here scared of their inner being? Anybody out here afraid of your own inner being? You're afraid of it. One person. Now, I'm going to do the point. I'm going to do the poem, but the only poem I can think of, you got to go inside yourself and realize there is a black hole inside you. Can you do that? Can you go inside and realize that every living entity has a black hole inside them? Can you do that? Poetry is black. Poetry is black. Words floating on black rhythm is poetry. Poetry is black words floating on black rhythm. Poetry is you. Poetry is people inside their own blackness and you and me moving and grooving and gliding and doing the shingling old time stuff and black. Poetry is black rhythm. Fast rhythm, fast grooving rhythm, grooving fast rhythm, and slow and mellow rhythm too, like one, two, grooving and black. Poetry is black people running when it's time to run and walking when it's time to walk and grooving and grooving and grooving. Groove on black people, because you are beautiful and you are poetry. I'm telling you. Thank you very much. Some of us don't know the treat that we're getting today. We've had classic artists, master artists from every genre from every culture, every gender, every race, celebrating a man named John Sinclair, a revolutionary, a revolutionary. Let's give him some applause. Yeah, let's give him some applause. Yeah, let's give a life worth living applause and recognition. I'm one of the original Black Panthers. I was one of the uh, more high profile Black Panthers because I suffered through great violence and 36 years as a political prisoner uh, and so forth and so on. And when I announced to the Panther world that our comrade to the Panther universe that our comrade, because you know, and it, I'm trying to win around the globe and Panthers, I'm talking about serious Black Panthers. Black Panthers still in exile around the country. Sent a salute to John Sinclair, to his family, to his family, to his family, to our families, the importance. And it reminded me, this funeral, this, this, this event reminded me when I met John's children of how important all of our children are to each other. Yes. What the hell they gonna do if they ain't got each other? 
We didn't raise the baddest that couldn't be raised. We didn't did our best. We have made mighty, mighty, our generation has made mighty, mighty, mighty contributions. We must connect our children. We must protect our legacy. I've talked to uh, John's family and one of the things that we have agreed is a priority is the history of the Panthers and the White Panthers. We have a gathering here of enough power and influence to get landmarkers for all the spaces where major events of Black Panthers and White Panthers and Panthers, Panthers, because John was a Panther. He happened to be a Panther who was authorized to be a co-leader, a co-founder of the White Panthers. But he was a Panther. We need to landmark our history. Those of us with all this gray hair, we're the only ones who know the stories, the names of our comrades. That means we must give this history up and we need spaces to do it. I wanna say with passion, can I hear y'all voices? Can we blow the top off of this? For John, all power to the people! All power to the people! All power to the people! Long live the spirit of the Rainbow Coalition. Long live the spirit of the work of John and my comrade, Fred Hampton. Because after he says all power to the people, I say to you, you got the power. And you say back to me, you got the power. Let's see how that works. You got the power. You got the power. No, you got the power. No, you got the power. You got the power. You got the power. Last part of this. Is this, this elder is the one of the founders of rap. And he is making a call. for us to take hip hop back to where it started. For mediations of these conflicts. Now we about to get back to the party. Is this a party? Ain't no hooping and hollering, ain't no crying and falling, no, 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 no. We celebrate, it's a celebratory information. This is how it's supposed to be done. Righteously, love, truth, peace, freedom, Justice, 420, salute, Black Panthers, White Panthers, power to the people, let's go meet the people.